So let's sync data into BooSpace, but this time using our easy data integration templates that will actually require you to do the mapping. So it's a little bit more difficult than when we have fully mapped fields ready for you in a pre-made template, but it's still really easy. So let's just get going. Uh, first, click here, select the module that you want to save data in and open the corresponding section. Uh, I'll filter tools by uh, individual categories here, or I can just type their name. I'll again, uh, show that on the Google contacts list, choose this application, but uh, you know, you should probably always choose the one that's pre-mapped, but just for the purposes of this, you know, very specific learning video, I'll choose the easy template. And you know, for many apps, the, the, the uh, template will not be ready yet. So you will need to do the mapping here. So choose the easy import template, click next, set up your space. So this time we will save the contacts into space called team. Go next go next you know how you know the key column works and everything else has been created you can see that we will be selecting uh api access token with number 139 so let's go next data is being processed and your scenario is being prepared and now now it works and you continue to the integrator engine um here you can see that uh, you are in a general template and you have Google Sheets here just as a placeholder. So we will remove that and we will add your you know, desired app. So first it will allow me to select that connection. So it was 139. So it's important to have that right. It's loading data from Boostspace and preparing the, the map fields. We said that we will save the data into database or let's say into space called team so make sure you select the correct one here and we are ready to go with proceeding with setup of the individual app so in this moment you need to take out the google sheets click on this massive i would say even huge plus button and select your desired app so i'll just work again with google contacts um i guess it's better to search my Google contacts and select uh, a trigger. The best trigger is when you can watch whether it was created or updated so that all the changes are being reflected into Boostspace immediately. So let's just watch the new contacts for changes. So I already have the connection uh, here. So uh, you can use your existing connection or you can just click on add and you know go through the old authorization. Click on OK select that you want to save you know all the contacts or you know where you want to actually start with your synchronization so that's same for you know any acid modules and now you have everything you know ready to start mapping your fields so what i suggest you know it's uh, just a good tip you just click on the right right click on this module on the google contacts and run that module once what will happen is it will actually load a first set of data and you will be able to use that for the context of, you know, mapping. So now when I open this, it's going to show me all the input fields, all the, let's say, database columns uh, that we have ready inside Boostspace. And they are empty. So what you are required to do as a, as a user, you need to click on here and say, find, you know, corresponding data so there's no allergies being saved inside google contacts so that probably is a field that will not be mapped but you can you know find fields like email and stuff like that that will require you to map it you can also try our beta feature of the ai mapping so you can see there's none none fields mapped i'll, I'll even remove these ones and uh, i'll just click on ai mapping let it work for you know a few seconds it's about 10 12 seconds that you no know, AI is comparing entire uh, context of data that's coming, or not data, but the input fields of you know the source tool and uh, the data fields of the destination tool. And you can see that now the data has been automatically uh, created. You need to check this because it's a beta feature. It might be having some some uh, you know hallucinations, but this this uh, a way how we can try to make it as much convenient for you as possible to automatically map the fields for you at the current time so just uh, click on okay um, let me see if we have everything remote id we need to connect that uh, so 
that's that's remote ID. Let me see if we have everything else. Phone. You can you can just check it like that, and click OK. So now your scenario is created. Your columns and fields are mapped, and you can set again the scheduling frequency. You can turn the scenario on on save it and if you click here you can adjust the limit of how many contacts can be processed by one scenario run so this would mean two contacts each 15 minutes so let's just increase this number just get 200 contacts every 15 minutes it will then you know continue proceeding next 15 minutes depending how you set up your scheduling interval so we can now run it it starts to save data you can see you know one two and data is nicely being created inside Boostspace. So I'm just going back to Boostspace database. I'll show you the team database. And you can see this source being pumping data inside the main database. And uh, let's see where your data is. And you can see the new contacts are actually being created here as we speak. So this is how you create a data synchronization into Boostspace from our general template. This general template you would probably need to use also when saving data from your custom Excel or Google Sheets where you would be required to do the mapping. But I think it's really simple to do. And once you synchronize your contact in one central database, the next step is to use it as a single source of truth and sync data out and really leverage the full power of your data. So this is what we're gonna cover in the next video. Thank you.